I never expected this to happen. This wasn't supposed to happen. I sent you on that trip to get hold of the King's tender. Not to drop your knickers like some tuppenny tart. That's precisely why you sent me. You knew he liked me. And you were prepared to use your own daughter to get what you wanted. Well, there's your evidence. Everything you asked of me. Going up in flames. That was our future. But what kind of future? <laughs> Can't you see that this kind of behaviour is all so sordid and petty? You're not falling in love with Matthew King. It's too late. You know, this is a chance for all of us to start again as honest, decent people. You know, there'd be no more deceit, no more sniping, and it could be a good thing. Don't be ridiculous. The kings try to destroy us. We have to make them pay for that. It's over. I just can't do that to the man I love. Oh, stop saying that. You told me you wanted to prove yourself. Yeah, but not like this. Yeah, like this. This is your chance to make me proud. Instead, you're beating on about love as if it's supposed to mean something. What about Matthew? Has he pledged his undying devotion? Because, frankly, that doesn't sound like his kind of thing at all. I knew it. You're prepared to betray your own flesh and blood for a man who doesn't even care. Of course he cares. He's not capable of love. He's cold and unfeeling. He cares only about himself. You don't know him like I do. He'll grab what he wants and then cast you aside. You know it. Well, that's a risk I'm prepared to take. Don't be so feeble. I'm sorry. But whatever you think, I'm not trying to hurt you. You're my daughter. You have a duty to do what I ask of you. But you have a duty to me too. Let this drop. We can move on from this. I don't need you. I can take them down myself. But what will that achieve? You destroy the kings, you destroy me! I I'm all you've got left! Not anymore. You disgust me. Ali <laughs> said, can I have my purple pencil for him back?